What's going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. As usual, this is Liam from Teal and today let's mix up the chat GPT tips and talk about making a resume with Bard AI. Now first off, what is Bard AI? Well, it's a lot like chat GPT. It's an AI chat bot, but developed by Google. It operates very similar to chat GPT, just with some slight differences as you'll see. But when it comes to a resume, that's a pretty complex document with a lot of specific text and formatting. Can Bard AI write one for you? Well, yes and not entirely. If you're watching this video, you probably have a resume already. So at a high level, you can use Bard AI as kind of a resume updater. You can copy in the text from your existing resume into Bard, have Bard polish and rewrite it all fancy. Then replace your old text with your new text to make sure it's formatted properly and saved as an updated copy. And if that sounds like an annoying process, that's because it is. And one of the reasons we so highly encourage people to try things like the Teal Resume Builder, because there things like formatting and updating are a breeze. You can check the flag up in the top right hand corner for a full walkthrough of that tool. But say you are using Teal and you do have a resume that you're just looking to update. Let's do a walkthrough of that whole process. The first section we're going to generate with Bard is a professional summary, which is just a few sentence summarization of your career and work experience. Bard also works off of prompts. So our prompt is going to be create a professional summary based on my resume below. Then just like in ChatGPT, you're going to copy your whole resume from wherever it is, ideally Teal, and paste it in below the Bard prompt and hit run. What you're looking for here is a few things. You're of experience, notable achievements, and metrics. Bard typically does a great job, but if any of those things are missing, feel free to regenerate the results with a more specific prompt, or honestly add them in yourself because you always want to do some amount of editing to AI writing. A human touch is important, and especially when standing out in a job search is very important. Any specific note that you want or can add is huge. Now over here in our Teal Resume Builder, we're going to add a professional summary. We're going to copy our results in from Bard, save, and just like that, nice and easy. The next section of our resume is our work experience, and so we can use Bard to generate some new resume achievements. This is a very important part of your resume. It's vital that these achievements show impact in your past roles and the value that you brought to your past company, because a hiring manager is going to be looking for how you can do that again for their company. Once again, we do need a prompt. So over here in Bard, you're going to say craft resume achievements with metrics based on this job description. Then you're going to go to the job description for the job you're applying for, ideally saved in the Teal job tracker, copy the whole thing, paste it below the Bard prompt and let it run. Now, this is going to give you an idea of the types of achievements that are going to be the most impactful for this position. It's very unlikely the exact resume achievements from Bard are going to be 100% your experience. And like with all AI writing, we always say you want to make sure it's accurate. So use these results as ideas for your own. You can copy them over to your resume builder, then edit the results from there for accuracy. Look at things like the skills emphasized in the achievements, tailor your own experience as much as possible to include those skills. And like we say a lot, you always want to have metrics. Once you have your achievements copied over to Teal, it's really easy to just toggle them on or off depending on how much they relate to the job you're currently applying for. So we do recommend having more than you think you'll need, just so you have them handy for later on. But on the note of skills, our next use for Bard AI is going to be to highlight the skills of a job description so we can use them in our resume. Our Bard prompt is going to be, what relevant skills should I include in my resume for the position of a, insert job title, based on the following job description. Then, like before, go grab the job description, paste it in below the prompt, swap out the placeholder in the prompt with your actual job title in question. Hit run and you'll get a list of skills pulled from the job description. And these are obviously great for the skills section of your resume. But more so than that, there are really great keywords that you want to have show up everywhere around your resume. You can throw them in your professional summary, in your achievements, even in your education section if you're adding some notes in there. Let's look at the skills section in Teal. It's really easy to go add a few items at a time. You just put a comma in between the terms, then hit save. They will all be added and you can toggle on the ones you want to include in this version of your resume. One one more thing we can do with Bard AI is write a cover letter. That's obviously one of the least fun parts of the application process, but with Bard, it is a bit quicker. Over here in the tool, you want to give it the prompt, compose a cover letter using my resume and a job description, then copy in your resume, copy in the job description below and hit run. Unfortunately, with the results, you're not done at this point with the cover letter. That would be amazing, but there is going to be some involved editing. You want to read it through, make sure it's accurate, and then I call it like a personalization pass. You want to make sure it just sounds like you. So any common language that you use, if professional, work it in. And once you're happy with the results, or at least happy with where it's at right now, just make sure to copy that cover letter, save it somewhere safe, maybe the notes section of the job you're going to be applying for. Just make sure to keep it handy so you don't have to do all that writing again. It would be great if the Bard results were varied and accurate enough just to roll with them for the cover letter or for any part of your resume. But just starting some of this writing can be the biggest blocker. So to have that done and have an idea of what you want to go off of is huge. So thank you to Bard AI. 
Well, thank you so much for your time today. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. And if you're not familiar with the Teal platform, check out the links below to get started. Thank you again. See you again soon.